she was the one. I'm actually about to go out. Right about now. Yeah, when I get there, I'm going to get this quick for 50 miles here. It's actually been funny because I've actually been in uh, just uh, so cool. taking my time with this one. Amazing, amazing. You know, an amazing girl. She I say, and uh, it's just be one of those. Like I always say, I always implement yoga a lot every morning. And if you're doing five to ten miles a day and you are not doing at least 50 to 100 push ups on a yoga mat, there's nothing wrong with it, but it would be a good idea. <laughs> it would be a good idea. So this morning, we be getting us. I don't know what I'm thinking of yet. You know, I did the first quick lap. You know, we uh, have a dog here that I walk, jog with him, brother. I did a quick five, six miles with him, so I'm gonna go back out again, as usual, and just uh, say a laugh here to everybody. And then, today, I don't know what's really actually on my mind here, but I'm just, I'm in a stage right now where I begin to understand the two things full meaning of consciousness because people always talk about consciousness a lot. You know, uh, a woke, uh, this, you know, we put name tags on there, but the, the real, real thing is, is the discipline that actually comes with those things. I think I'm a I like it when my bees change like this. You know, it's the discipline that comes up with it. So, my discipline with this is home with, I get up every day at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, I, I would do about 200 push-ups lately is what I've been doing while I do the yoga, so we've been doing push-ups and doing yoga because every pose I go into in the yoga pose means I do like 20, 10 or 15 push-ups, so my rest period is when I get into that pose. Because as you can see, yoga mat, uh, the yoga mat is actually designed to do those push-ups. And that's how you actually do upper strength body. And it's really funny that we take that out of our yoga journey. You know, we just go straight into the poses. So the whole essence of yoga is to actually build the body and breathe into the body properly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got Asha playing in the background. So what I'm trying to say is the energy that God is with you. There's no one else. <laughs> you have to really, really tap into it. So it's still a little dark out here. You know, as I try to get this last couple of miles in, I've actually just been you know, I'm standing there in front of the apartment and just kind of just sort of and next couple of days I got a new transition coming in and then um, the whole essence of this elevation requires discipline where it means constantly you are speaking to your head in the traditional Yoruba culture, they call it Ori. You gotta speak to your Ori all the same time. So, uh, what we internally speaking is who we are as a spiritual being. Because once you learn how to speak to yourself internally, you'd be really amazed. And a lot of times, that's the reason why. And the fact that yoga and gymnastics have been taken out of our journey. A lot of times we don't really understand what we're capable of from within us. So like I always say, this is the time to give. This is the time, and I'm not talking about material gifts, I'm talking about the gift of emotion, the gift of love, and also 
this time of the year too, especially when it gets cold, people start to go through different emotions. And I'm letting you know that uh, I'm thinking about you. Everything's gonna be alright. And for all you runners out there, if you're running 10 to 5 miles a day, you gotta do 10 to uh, 100 push ups. How about this? 100 push ups for running 10 miles a day and 50 push ups for only 5 miles. Because what do we do? It does wonders to your body. You're able to stretch properly. And all the uh, injuries that you sustain from running is not really causing, is not really coming from running to be quite honest when you really look at it. You know, uh, even though we don't understand it, most of your injuries are coming from stress. They're coming from the stress of anger that we carry. And we don't even understand that. Because a lot of people say, oh, I got injured. No, they're coming from that anger. That's where yoga, breathing into the body, push ups come to play. So I'm going to go out there and speak to my re again, my ancestors, whatever religion, whatever you, where you want to call it, because uh, I have learned from them all, from the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, the Baba Gita. Like I literally, literally get all these collections of books and read every single one of them. And I realize they all have an essence, they all have a purpose. And it's absolutely amazing to separate things. So I'm going to go ahead this morning this 15 mile meditative jog excited to share my journey with you <laughs> i think i've gotten up to 5,000 miles this year already <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna make 7,000 a year but i'll see yeah so and i'm saying look at that beautiful beautiful tree i can see the color so today's that day embrace love and i'm gonna say i share